Today is April 7th. Today's quote is entitled, Where Are You Going? We should not judge ourselves by where we are, but by where we are looking to go. Accept yourself for where you are at. But don't be dissatisfied to stay there. If you're not striving to move forward, then being satisfied keeps you down because you'll reach what you focus on. If you focus on nothing, you reach nothing. So recently I was giving a class on being happy when we feel bad or we discover something bad about ourselves. And so it's a common problem. We look at ourselves, we see what we lack, and how can we be inspired to go on in Krishna consciousness if we see we have so many faults or so many problems? So. Where we're at is not as important as where we're looking to go, because where we're looking to go is where we end up. So where we start from is where we're at. That's not so significant, and it's not something to be discouraged by. I would be discouraged if I wasn't looking to go or looking to reach my goal. Even if I'm close to my goal, but I'm not looking to achieve it, I would be discouraged. That's a good reason to be discouraged. But if I'm focused on my goal, I wouldn't be discouraged even if I'm far away from it. Because as long as I'm focused on it and I'm working towards it, and my intention is very clear about where I want to go, I will end up there. And I think for some of us, we don't have a strong goal. We don't have a strong vision or a strong intention. And so if we have no goal, no intention, or it's very foggy, then we end up in the fog. Or we end up going around in circles trying one thing, trying another thing, trying another thing, and, and basically not really getting anywhere. But if we're focused, if we know what we want, and we're determined to get it, then it doesn't matter where we are now, because that determination, that intention, that focus is going to bring us to the goal. And that is Krishna's promise, and that's Prabhupada's promise. If we're focused and intentional in Krishna consciousness, eventually we will achieve, achieve success. And so that's what we should focus on, the fact that we will achieve success someday. Not the fact that I'm not successful now, not that a fa the fact that it's far away, not the fact that sometimes I slip and fall, but the fact that I'm on the path with a clear vision of pure devotional service. That's what's most important. So. Sometimes it is said, or it has been said, that a man is judged by his ideals. That means we don't judge him by where he's at now, but we judge him by where he's going, or where he's looking to go. So, if you have a desire to be a pure devotee, that's a glorious desire. What could be greater, what could be a greater desire than that? If you have a desire to be a pure devotee, eventually Krishna will fulfill that desire if you don't give up on that desire, if you keep pursuing. And there's a prayer by a brahmana from a place called Avanti, and he said, I will cross over the material ocean of existence. This is my determination. And why can I be determined? Why can I be confident, even though I don't feel qualified? It's because those who followed this path were successful. And I know if I stick to this path through my entire life, following in the footsteps of those who followed this path, I will also be successful. And Prabhupada is guaranteed us success. He stamped the paper. You will be successful if you follow these principles. And one time there was a story that Ramanujacharya was talking about Bibishan. Bibishan was Ravana's brother. Bibishan wanted to join Ram. And none of the devotees trusted him. They didn't want him to join. And so as Ramanujacharya was talking about the qualities of Bibishan, these were the qualities which were influencing the associates of Ram to say, no, he doesn't have good qualities. Many people got up from the class and left, and he called them back and said, why are you leaving? He said, I'm like Vibhishan, I don't have 
qualities. I don't have these qualities of a devotee. I only have qualities like Bibhishan. And Ramanujacharya said that if you sincerely serve, I will, I will make up for what you lack. I will take you back to Godhead. That's amazing. And Prabhupada said the same thing to us. So therefore we know if we stick to the process, even though we don't have the strength, he stamped it, he's guaranteed it, and we'll be successful. Hare Krishna. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with others, if you comment it, on it, if you like it, do whatever. You have to click to share it because I think a lot of devotees would appreciate getting these videos. I try to take our philosophy and put it in a practical way so we know how to apply it in daily activity. And um, this is one of the services I do and I want to reach as many devotees as possible. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you.